the five minute bug that almost cost me my job yes guys and ai cannot catch that these are the three important scenarios which i want to highlight especially i'm going to show you exactly what happened so that you also don't meet these kind of mistakes especially into this okay first of all i will be discussing about three important scenarios which is the rate limiting because of that three warning signs that everyone has that that should add directly you should be aware about right if you are a manual tester automation does not matter warning sign so that you don't don't get fired because of bugs third one which is exact recovery strategy because if any bug found i have never seen a person who got fired because there is he has missed a production bug they got fired because of the attitude they got fired because they don't have recovery strategy which i'm going to give you with the documents also in this case okay in the end you will have a bulletproof system everyone you will have a bulletproof system that which will help you to protect your reputation and you will also not make these kind of mistake especially as a kid. Way. all right let's go the first one which i'm going to discuss which is the api rate limiting under two minutes right? what was the scenario i remember that i'll tell you uh there was a one scenario where we had uh, i was working in a e-commerce website where we had api limits rate limitings and everything was there where black friday sale was there i remember right where what we used to do uh whenever black friday is there big billion day is there in flipkart we remember right so what happened uh at exactly 12 we have not done the properly you can say performance or even the normal api testing with that much of load and that exactly what happened was we had a very critical miss can you imagine guys what went wrong is that we had a multiple request which was hitting the api simultaneously and it basically i remember that website e-commerce website that got down because of rate limiting issues you know what there was a concurrency that okay yes only we can handle like 20 requests per second 50 requests per second or probably like 100 requests per second but because it was not thoroughly tested i'll show you the code also this is this is like simpler code which was there like for example rate limiting of concurrency and this is because of that we got this issue in this case right first i remember around i have just noted down everything also so here we i remember right 645 or something which was the first report which was there database connections pool exhausted complete scenarios and impact for 45 minutes which lost almost 2000 plus angry emails or customers whose payment was reduced so i remember this is just a one of the scenario which i'm telling you it happens most of the time whenever you are working with e-commerce website i'm not telling you this happened with me this happened with me no i'm telling you these kind of scenarios happens so make sure that you test it thoroughly about this right second important point uh, which i want to discuss is the warning signs what are the warning signs first basically why it happened what was the reason for this first one i remember is the pressure to skip edge cases whenever you have a testing that you want to do right never skip your edge cases always have your boundary value equivalence partitions invalid things and concurrent partitions so you have to test the load and everything also in this case if you are responsible for functional test cases please make sure known functional also which is performance and security also you highlight that these are very very important second mistake uh, if you can see right for example single user passed every sequestration passed 10 user per something passed but no but the what was the problem the problem was the edge cases which we have not missed low testing which we have missed this is what exactly we need and we have probably tested for some extra things but not able to correct okay management as a bottleneck so what happened is sometimes i have seen people uh, even if we want to release something right people we get as something as debts or software testers are like a bottleneck for example i remember sometimes manager told me that promote because of you we are not able to release this product you are saying ki there are only already 10 gp0 bugs so don't be a bottleneck what you need to do is you need to highlight everything and all then it's a team discussion overall that what we exactly we need to do so make sure this is the second thing that you highlight overall in this case okay a second important point which is developer pushing back to unnecessary scenarios i remember that whenever we wanted to reach out to developers that okay these are scenarios we want to test it out and everything they said okay not required we have already tested and everything don't trust developer directly into this which is very very important how to recover from this a systematic approach what exactly i'm going to tell you very simple in this case first of all whenever you have any kind of apis or front end that you want to test especially for e-commerce website and everything we have load testing performance and security you don't have to forget about it the second important point is race conditions that you need to check about for the resources always have a boundary value equivalence partition or different type of manual testing techniques make sure you check all the edge cases which can revolve around around this which will help you to release the product increase your test coverage everyone increase your test coverage i will share the template with you guys for test coverage make sure you follow that in this case second important point is 
real world simulation is one thing which is very very important now how to handle these kind of scenarios right i know everyone wants to ask right what is it you need to answer or you need to handle it by using the rca which is called as root cause analysis template everyone you will find this template everywhere i mean this is very simple template that you will find it over the internet also where uh, i have also done it uh, you will find it on sz uh, scroll test.com slash rca if you go scroll down no, rca i think you will be fire able to find i am not here as the dot line slash rca let me check if it is the uh, yes this is the one uh, as the dot live slash rca which is how to file a root cause analysis key components who will going to file it what exactly it is there you need to read about it description detection what went wrong correction prevention Im impact timelines and action item what you need to do immediately take the responsibility even if you have a bug so now suppose if there is a bug immediately take responsibility send a hot fix and me responsible throughout this this is your responsibility as a qa overall in this case so this is what exactly what i want to tell you in 5 minutes maximum how to basically resolve these issues and if you are into the situation where you because of you there was a production bug immediately do a rca for this okay so don't make that career ending mistakes because of which i have done it or probably this is one of the scenario can happen with you also and always try to learn from your mistake so complete rca template is available description just type rc in the chat i will share with you in this case let me share the manual testing plan or testing techniques also which are required do let me know if you need manual testing techniques like boundary value evidence partition also that i will discuss in the chat this is what we have learned almost with a 5 minute bug that almost go cost us the bug overall scenario this is a scenario which basically i wanted to teach you all the concepts i hope that helps thank you for watching i'll see you